my sunshines, rainbows, orchids and moonlights and hi to everyone that is new. Welcome to Mystic Love Tarot. My name is Ali and I am a psychic tarot reader. I'm also a, a pagan priestess for the Morrigan. I am a magical woman that believes in the old ways of Albion, which is England. So it's kind of going back to the Stonehenge magic, very Celtic energy um, that I possess and the deities that I work with are the Celtic ones. So what we are here to do today is do they love you? And it's quite a romantic reading that I feel that I wanted to step to this side of Christmas. Um, so we will just get cracking. I'm going to use this as deck number one. So deck number one is the Yuletide Tarot and it's by Christopher Hughes. Um, it's probably the only time of year I get to use this deck. So we are going to use this for deck number one. And deck number two is the Spellcaster Tarot, which I also feel is quite apt. <laughs> Being me, deck number one, deck number two. So go to the deck that you are most drawn to, okay? And as you get drawn to that deck, I want you to feel the person you're inquiring about and push their energy into the deck that you like. Number one, number two, do they love you? And we will get cracking. So deck number one, here we go. Just thinking if I've got any news for you. So I do have spaces for same day return on voice note readings at the moment. But obviously bear in mind that as it's coming up to Christmas, there will be slight delays on turnaround times. So if you do want to book and get your answer today, um, it is £10 a question. So you can just drop me a message on Instagram uh, at Mystic Love Tara. I've got a blue tick, so you will find me. Um, and I have got spaces for video readings, but again, be aware that as Christmas comes up, you will find that I have got a delay um, on me getting them back to you. It will just take a little bit longer. Um, normally I say within the seven days I can get it back, but you know, Christmas is a time of family and I do have a toddler, um, so there could be delays on that. Um, other things, I've got Witches Magazine coming out this month with an article that I've written about uh, the magician in tarot and magic that you can do to bring his alchemy into your world. Right, do they love you? So I'm just getting, as I'm kind of pulling the cards, it's more than I anticipated, but I'm going to use all six of them. As I'm pulling the cards, I got this song from Avita. We're going to a musical. You might find you get a musical playlist today. Spirit giving me the song from Evita that said, you must love me. So what this is about is like everything that's been going on in your guy's world. It's like you are still sticking around. OK, you are still there for them. And they are suddenly realizing that you do have these serious emotions for them and that you do love them. Um, now, that song, when you listen to it, it's quite morbid because it was at the time that Evita was, you know, not very well. But I don't want you to pay attention to the song where it came from, but I want you to just pay attention to the lyrics of you must love me so your person is really realizing that you have these strong emotions for them i'm gonna read down we're gonna read down but first and foremost i'm gonna grab you a swifty song because it's a bit of fun we're coming up to christmas and i want to just see what the energy is using my taylor swift era's tarot deck those of you that don't know i am a huge swifty and i'm going to go see her in june we did get tickets and the catch is because I am blessed with doing magic. Okay, so the card that you guys got was the Hanged Man. Um, and it's quite apt as well because it says they're burning all the witches, even if you aren't one. And here I am talking about Taylor Swift magic. They got their pitchforks and proof, their receipts and reasons. They're burning all the witches, even if you aren't one. So go ahead and light me up. Um, so this song comes from I Did Something Bad on the Reputation album. My favourite Taylor Swift album, which is why I know it's on there. Um, so it's kind of like whatever you've done, whatever they've done, um, they are feeling a little bit sorry for themselves at this point in time. Um, but, you know, it's almost like that judgment card of judge or be judged, like no matter what they've done, what pathway they've trodden down, um, they still have this kind of I did this. This is who I am as a person. So um, you either take me or leave me. You know, they're burning all the witches, even if you aren't one. If you disagree with kind of what happened with me, you know, it's kind of on you you go light me up, that kind of energy coming forward. So if there's been a bit of difficult situations with your person or there's been this complex energy, there isn't much remorse coming from them at this moment in time. They're just like, well, fuck it. Oh, sorry, excuse me, language. But they're like, well, F it, it happened. So are they in love with you? They're stuck. They're feeling a bit trapped by the situation. So the first cards we got were the moon and the full. 
so we're going to read down like i said the moon is all about intuition the fall is about taking these new beginnings so i would leave you with the question of asking you um do you feel that there is, what is your intuition on the situation what do you feel is your intuition where is it guiding you they are just going with the flow of it at the moment they aren't planning too much there can be a very strong build-up of emotions um but they are feeling like you know, you've got to take me or leave me as I am, I'm not going to change. And because of that, it's like these emotions that they have for you, they haven't allowed to progress into full form at this point in time. This is why the song is coming in. They're like, well, this is who I am. You either love me or leave me. I'm not going to change. Um, so when it comes to their love and their emotions for you, you have this kind of bit of a stagnant energy on it. They want to take these new leaps with you. They want to take these new beginnings with you. Um, but they are feeling a little bit fearful of what you would feel if you actually got to know them deeper down and that comes down to their self-esteem that comes down to what they are um feeling within themselves about the, their actions and how they've handled situations in the past it also spirit of saying relates to family some of you guys would have had that their, their family situations will be more difficult more complex they might have childhood trauma and um, so that's coming up in the first bit the second bit you've got the um hierophant and you've got the queen of pants so they can see that there is a future with you they can see that they're um they can build this connection up between the two of you so they've got they can see you as quite a stable person they see you in quite a secure um energy they see that they could build a future with you and um, the hierophant kind of talking about truth of the situation so they are having this realization at the moment it's kind of reality check that you could be the person that they want to spend the rest of their life with but they just need to stop feeling sorry for themselves and start creating action on this situation which leads us to the last two which is justice and the page of cups so it's like they want to make these offerings towards you but with justice coming in again it's like we, we're at the very cusp of something new and i've had a lot of shit in the past and i don't really know how to progress with it so i'm just going to wait and see how this all plays out between us and um, she's either gonna or you guys are either gonna love me for me or you're not gonna love me at all and it's not gonna work out your person feels like they're not gonna change they feel like they've been through so much crap in the past that they just know who they are as a person and it's going to be someone that marries up to that so if you are expecting a personality trance you are potentially transplant trans <laughs> personality transplant you are potentially not going to be getting it from this person that you're asking about there is potential with the page of cups there is great potential for love here there is great potential for emotions here um they are just stopping themselves at this moment from progressing things forward so they do like you there is potential for them to fall in love with you but right now they are just kind of staying stagnant staying put and waiting to see how this unfurls taking a leap of faith with it being on the cusp of new beginnings realizing that there is good potential for the two of you to build a relationship to build that stable family unit perhaps even bring kids in white picket fences they see the potential they have feelings but it hasn't caught to that place of love yet. I'm not saying it won't. And if you want to look at that, you can just drop me a message. We can look at the future energies. But that is where it is right now. And that's step number one. If you need me, just drop me a message. Okay, guys, so we're going to shoot over now to deck number two. And we are doing, is your person that you're asking about in the next interview? Um, so if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, my name is Ali. I am a tarot consultant. I'm also a psychic club audience. Um, and I am a priestess for goddess, which means I, have, uh, I do magical rites. Should you need any kind of magic in your life and goddess, give me the okay to do that we do have a little toddler joining us today he is downstairs um i was trying to record on his nap time but he chose not to nap so um you might hear the little perks of, of a of a tiny little baby well he's not that tiny now he's two downstairs um but those of you that have been here for a while you all supported me with my pregnancy so hunter is um saying hi right you tell me has that person fallen in love with them have they got feelings so you've got the king of swords you've got the five of swords oh, lord you've got the ten of swords oh my goodness i could get two more swords swords and swords you've got the king of wands although you've done six as well you've got the queen of pence and you've got the knight of wands Okay, your person is acting a bit like a trollop. <laughs> they are being um, 
difficult with this situation. It is very much in their mind at this moment in time. So they're acting more from a mind place than an emotions place. They're acting more of an air energy than a water energy. So they are very much in their thoughts about this. And they are thinking about it and they are overthinking about it and they're trying to use their intellect to work out their emotions and they just aren't getting anywhere with the whole thing, okay? So let's start off. I'm gonna read down like I did um, with deck number one. And actually I'm gonna start off by pulling you a Swifty card. That's what I did with deck number one as well. Can I have a card please for deck number two? Are they in love with deck number two? The people that they're asking about that collective energy. Are they in love? Okay, so you got the chariot. He said, let's get out of this town, drive out of this city, away from the crowds. He said, let's get out of this town. <laughs> so your person and their emotions for you, you might find that your person is partaking in a little bit of escapism behavior with this relationship as well. Um, you are giving them a little bit of an outlet when life is a bit difficult for them. Um, but it's like, they enjoy the moment. They very much live in the moment with you. But when it comes to planning things and planning a future, you just get hit by this. Well, it could work out. It might work out. I do believe in fate, but let's just see how it all goes. So it's like, they are very much in their mind and very much acting on logic rather than the emotional side of things. It doesn't mean they don't have emotions for you, but it is this logical side of things. And this is where the two of you are at this point in time. So this is you and your queen of pence energy. This is you in your maternal energy, your power energy, your building a family energy, the beautiful connection. And they are in this king of swords, this kind of intellect, this I'm not taking, I'm not sure what I want to do with this. I'm going to just work in my mind and we'll just see how it all plays out. So this two of you have got a bit of an unbalanced energy going on at this point in time let me just see how we can neutralize that how can we neutralize this energy between them okay so we've got the chariot again so two cards of the chariot so to neutralize the energy between the two of you it is going to take time and it is going to take movement it is going to take building and growth so if you guys want us to look at doing some magic to to kind of um neutralize any toxicity between you guys you can just give me a shout it looks like it's a positive that we could do that so you've got moving things forward with you guys it is about taking time it is about taking your person for who they are they aren't going to change who they are. They are very much in their mind about it. And this is how it is. And, you know, you have to match up to me. So it's kind of important that you guys echo that energy as well. And do start thinking about yourself and what it is that you want and not settling for less than you deserve. OK, um, to neutralize your energy is taking time, it's taking movement. So your person has to start making clearer movement towards you rather than very much in their mind and pushing you away. So the next cards over here is we've got the Ten of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So there is a very kind of more sexual energy, this non-committal energy. When, <laughs> hey baby, when it comes to commitment, you've got them saying, well, you know what? I don't know if I can commit to you at this point in time. And they'll probably say it's because I've been through so much. I've been hurt in the past. I'm not really sure what I want. Um, and I'm going to take a step back. You might find that their behavior is a bit irrational. Like it's here, then it's there, and it's there, and it's gone, and it's back, and it's forth. Um, this is because of that non-committal energy. So whilst they're working out what they want, they are taking steps back, then probably coming forward, then taking steps back again. So you've got this kind of um, cycle here as well. This is something that you guys have probably been involved in for a couple of months where you wave in and wave out and wave in. And it is really riding this wave of these emotions between you both. The other cards that you got over here with the Five of Swords and the King of Wands. Um, so there is this sense of betrayal that you're feeling that your person has, that you're asking about has let you down at the moment. And they are acting more on a sexual balance rather than an emotional balance. So you're going to be feeling like a sense of loss from that. When it comes to their feelings of love, they aren't realising them. They are working in the mind, so they're not working on emotion. So even though there could be feelings here, they're choosing to disregard them and act more on a mind level than an emotional level. Like I said, you need to kind of neutralise that energy between the two of you. When anything is up in the air, it is about kind of grounding that energy and bringing it back down to earth. So, you know, um, as a pagan, I work with the, the elements. So when someone is very much in the mind, I will say to you guys, you need to ground the energy. So a good way to do that is if they come to your house, you can make them kind of soup <laughs> or root vegetable casserole. Um, anything that is kind of born from the earth to ground the energy will help them get out of their mind. Um, you could also give 
give them natural spring waters and, and all that kind of stuff. Even for a sense like cider, because it's come from apples, or vodka because it's come from potatoes if you wanted to kind of do the drinking side of things and make it look a bit less kitchen which you can do that to help ground their energy from the situation it's like we have to get them out of the mind and into the earth because if we get them in that earth energy that's when the progression routes can happen to you happen for you and they can talk to you about their emotions and they can talk to you about their feelings so with regard to love there isn't much going on there so let's just pull three more does your person love you it's just saying about oh we've got your Taylor Swift on there just saying about they are in their mind over it all they have to have a bit of a wake-up call on it you know they have to have a realization over the situation with you guys um important to follow your intuition You've got memories from the past so it looks like stuff that's happened to them has really beat them up and even though they can see that there is potential it's like they are stopping their heart from falling in love with you at this point in time do listen to your intuition on the situation you are in this divine feminine energy and when there is divine feminine energy it's almost like you can you can get people to fall in love with you but you might have to use um rules of manifestation you, to, to kind of help your process so that your person kind of steps out of their mind that's the energy that is coming forward to help them step out of the mind you need to ground the energy you need to bring that grounded energy into your world and that will then give potential at the moment they aren't committed to you they see you in a very sexual light a very passionate light a very attractive light and a very good chemistry but when it comes to falling in love they are scared they have got the wits scared out of them because of stuff that has happened in the past so there are exes there are family issues there are things that are stopping your person from allowing those feelings to come to the forefront so to get them to come to the forefront you need to ground that energy and if you need any more witchy wisdom you can just give me a shout you can find me on instagram mr love tarot um, or you can email me mr love tarot at gmail.com bit of tough readings today a bit bit more difficult than i was anticipating i was hoping for these beautiful joyous yay it's all beautiful but it has been a bit of a tougher read for you guys today um so do drop me a message if you need me like i said same day return on voice note readings check out the podcast if you want to have a free tarot and astrology reading each week we place they out every monday or moon day um you can just give me a shout all right guys i love you lots i will speak to you later many many blessings ciao